It is a great honor and privilege to welcome you to the beautiful Kingdom of Swaziland to this historic event for the first international grandmothers gathering in Africa. There's an immediate bond between the Canadian and the African grandmothers and it, it's just from the heart. We have come to share and also to learn. As grandmothers from Africa and Canada, we were drawn together in Toronto for three days in August 2006 by our similarities, our deep love and undying devotion to our children and grandchildren, our profound concern about the havoc that HIV AIDS has inflicted on the continent of Africa, and in particular on its women and its children. We are African grandmothers from Kenya, Malawi and Mozambique, from Namibia, Rwanda, South Africa and Swaziland, from Tanzania, Uganda, Zambia and Zimbabwe. What's amazing about these grandmothers, their message is very clear. Don't pity us, support us. And that's what this march is. We stand here today battered but not broken. We are resilient and stand unwavering in our resolve to move beyond basic survival to forge a vibrant future for the orphans and grandmothers of Africa. Each of our stories is different. Each of our experiences is unique. Other grandmothers have got no children, but they look after orphans who are abandoned. And today, on behalf of the Stephen Lewis Foundation and the thousands of Canadian grandmothers, we pledge to you that we will be with you every step of the way until every one of those rights is realized. The grandmothers of Africa, the front lines of the AIDS pandemic, are no longer content to eke out a survival for themselves and their orphan grandchildren. They came together here and they sent out a clarion call to the world for urgent action and concrete support in the form of laws that must be passed to secure their rights, uh, to protect them from the violence that they are all enduring, and to very importantly provide and secure the economic independence and the social security that they and their families and communities require in order to thrive, not simply survive. And we promise you, when we go back to Canada, we will work hard to raise funds to help with your very excellent projects and work. We African grandmothers need to be taken care of and recognized. Without the work of these grandmothers, HIV AIDS and its impact would be so much worse on our continent. They are not here crying. Crying is not going to help. Pity is not going to help. We need to turn all those uh, energies, all those feelings into action.